Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is no makeup tutorial. It is no review. It's not a first impression. It is something about my hair. You can already tell. Um, no, let me tell you something about my hair. Um, my hair is very dead. It is so dead that I think I need to plan a funeral. Um, and that's because I bleached my hair. I want it to be gray. It still is, but it's not alive. It's terrible. And I cut it. It is very short. I never have my hair this short um, just because I actually don't like it. I love to have short hair, but it has to be a little bit longer than this. And that's why my hair is like the last couple of weeks always up or I have my wig on. But um, I have another problem and that is this right here. Okay, so when I go like this and I wanna put my hair all the way to the back, you see that right here, I have baby hairs. And when you look at the front, wait, let me show it like this. Do you see that? Like my hair starts here and then here it's okay. I don't need to do a lot on the right side of my hat, but it's more on the left side. So like the first hair I have, long hair starts over here. Do you see? That is kind of a difference. But that is something you will never see. Um, if I have my hair up, if I'm wearing a wig, it doesn't matter. You will not see that because I have a solution and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So if you wanna see how I pretend to have like this full hair, like a good hairline, I don't even know how to say that, then please keep on watching. All right. Before I'm actually going to show you what I do, um, it's very important to know that I normally do this when I don't have any makeup on. By the way, I just washed my hair today, this morning, so it's all clean. I did that so I know that nothing is on my head. This is just my scalp and everything is clean. So I'm gonna put my hair back and I always do this before I apply makeup, but not today. This is the main problem. Do you see that like on this side, it's kind of fine. If I comb my hair like this, it's fine. But if I comb my hair like this on this side, I really have this empty area, which I do not like. All right, so the first thing I use is this spray. It's um, a spray for when you want to touch up your roots, when you actually have to go to the hairdresser and get your roots fixed. You can just spray it and it will color your hair. But that's not where I use it for. Um, this one is from our Dutch drugstore brand. It's around four euros. I used to have the one by L'Oreal, which was 11 euros and it does exactly the same. So if you're not living in Holland, don't worry. Just go to your local drugstore and find uh, something similar to this. Just search for a dupe for the L'Oreal uh, spray that I will show somewhere on the screen. All right, so what I do is I comb my hair to the back. I shake it. Pull it tight. I normally hold my hand like this, but I think you won't be able to see it. So I'm gonna try not to ruin my makeup, but this is what I do. I spray and I comb just to like make it even. And do you see how full this part already is? But I like to have it also here. Do you see that? Like this area. Can I do it again? All right. And then I just like to take my finger and kind of <laughs> blend it out, just like we do with eyeshadow. Do you see what kind of difference this already does? Because it's full, it looks like I have a lot of hair right here, but I just don't, it's just the spray. But if you look at my hair right now, you can definitely tell that now, once I have done like the problem area, the left side, it's not really complete because I still want to have it like very round. I like that. So what I do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but then on the other side, I'm just not going to use that much product. So I'm going to go like just. Ooh, 
Wow. Don't do your makeup, guys. All right, let me wash my hands. Okay, so it's not even, as you can tell. I am taking an old beauty sponge and I'm just pushing it like back into my hair, brushing it again and again. <laughs> Don't do this when you already have your makeup on. And then, I also have a brush, like an old eyeshadow brush that I like to use just to make sure that everything has a little bit of the powder. And I try not to use a lot of that spray because it can transfer to your pillow. Gotta be honest with you. You can also use eyeshadow, but it takes me way too much time when I use eyeshadow. And this is a lot quicker, um, a lot easier, I think. And then I just brush my hair. And I'll let it you know, do like this. And I'm gonna do it the other side also, just to make sure that I have this nice fake hairline. And that, you guys, is how I try to fake a hairline and give everyone the illusion that this is very round, that I have a lot of hair, but I don't. I don't have a lot of hair. I have a lot of baby hairs here and I have some dead hair. So yeah, me and hair, we're not that close. I got a wig and I got my spray. And that was the video. This is the quickest video I've ever made, I think. It is so easy. Um, when I was doing this, I do this every time I wash my hair. I try not to wash my hair too often. I don't have to because it's always up. But when I do wash my hair, this is what I do and I just leave it in there. I don't have to wash it again. That's what I do and I've been doing it for year maybe two years right now i used to use eyeshadow but this spray is a lot quicker um it's 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 very cheap so why not so if you have like the same problem as i have i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something uh from it and if you're already doing this keep on doing it and um if you tried it out for the first time please let me know in the comments down below how it went if you have questions about it i'll be happy to answer them for you and that was actually the video i want to thank you for watching and i will see you soon in my next video and i think that will be a vlog video i don't know we'll see